I can't watch the NFL anymore. You said uh, that the last time we spoke. Really? Have you really sworn off the NFL? I watched uh, the. Uh, I don't think I watched the Super Bowl, but I watched some of the playoff games because I can't. I'd say I watched ten percent of what I used to watch. I I finally got it. They kept saying it was an unsafe game. Goodell said there were problems with the game. Goodell said that there was no social justice. I, it finally sunk in. I said I'm participating uh, in an activity I shouldn't be. I got it. It's ironic. It comes from the guys getting forty million a year out of it, but um, I, I, it finally sank in. He said, "No, no, they they don't want to play Thursdays." But I, you know, it's such a typical thing where he said, "I've got actuary tables that say there's no discernible difference." Then all the players say, "We don't want to play Thursdays. We feel it's dangerous." And he said, "Well, I'm going to continue to play on Thursdays because I care so much." And I just thought, "Okay, I get it." Uh, they don't. They don't really care. They're going to make the helmets more uh, Kubrickian and uh, the playing fields more adherent, and the uh, you know it's like cue balls now bouncing around out there. So I get it. I, I finally it sunk in. I thought Goodell's right. This is not something you should either have your kids play or watch. So I'm out. Hmm. So, but you did watch some what Steeler playoff games? Is that what you watched? Mm, I watched. Uh, I like Brady a lot. But I don't know the Steelers as well as I used to, you know, because I, I, I haven't lived there in so many years. Right. And I don't have the NFL package anymore. So that's been two years now I quit that. And uh, I don't know. Periodically I'll listen to Albino because I've talked to him and he says he's got a good one. You know, so we'll talk during the week and I'll watch him. I love listening to Al. He's the best at it. Yes, he is. Uh, but I, I listen to it more for um, situational things that just sound exciting in the same way that, like, uh, I've gone to WrestleMania or I watch, you know, other things. But uh, as far as sports go, uh, it has made me go back to baseball, uh, the, the atrophy of the NFL, and uh, the, and hockey's my, my fave. My sources tell me yes. on the ground that they found out what goes in, on inside the King Faisal tent that is the concussion protocol now. I actually was wondering, why do I see guys go in there, in, in like some Stargate SKG or something, where they're cavorted into another dimension? I never see them make, come back in. And I found out what the NI, uh, NFL protocol What's is going now on? for whether or not they ask the kid inside there what currently constitutes a catch in the league, and they all come up. <laughs> ah, now, hold on a second. They, they, you, you, you know, again, I know you're, you've, you've turned away. You've shunned. Or you said that the sport has shunned you, however you want to put it. They, oh, they did it. simplify I, I, it. They simplified it. They simplified it in the last couple of weeks. They fixed it. They f- yeah, I'm sure it'll be good. <laughs> they make wise decisions. The game's not complicated at all anymore. Nah, you know, I always think that uh, what was Trump? He was doing away with five. Uh, what was he trying to get rid of? You had to lose two regulations for one end. Right. Whenever I hear about the competition getting together, and by the way, I think Jim, uh, I think Jeff Fisher was the big guy in the competition he was. committee for the last, uh, you know, not anymore, obviously. Mm-hmm. But, well, Fish at one point, uh, you know, when, when they just come up short down at the, uh, you, you know, at yeah, the, the goal, goal line, line. he's yeah. in the game, but uh, he was he was phoning and in on a rotary phone towards <laughs> the end. And every year they would go into that competition committee and figure out, you know, Ed Hockley didn't even lift weights. All that was just from signaling penalties, uh, you know, his upper body development. And my feeling is they should go in there one year and say, we've got so many damn rules. It's silly. We're going to prune back 10. I think the fans would like that. But right now, it used to be a game that people want to to escape on weekends. And now it reminds them of the office. And I think that's I think that's a bad thing. I think, God, that's all the BS I have to face in the office every day, filling out forms in triplicate. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.